Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is Introduction to Python. And in today's lesson, we'll be covering commenting, which I know is not the most exciting topic, but it is still super important. It is the most important non-essential part of programming. So it's important that you know how to comment appropriately. So we are using PyCharm as opposed to Python, if you've seen the default um, IDE environment uh, that comes with Python. Uh, and the reason why is that it just makes more sense. It's just easier to, to use, especially when you're trying to demonstrate commenting. We, I have created a new project called YouTube Tutorial, and it's pretty simple to create a new one. You just go new project. And then once you've created it, it's pretty simple to create a Python file. Right here, you just click Python file. You call it whatever you want. In this case, it's called it tutorial.py. So there are two main ways to comment, and there's pros and cons to both of them. And you should use both methods in most of your program. The first one method is to use this hash hash sign, um, similar to like hashtags on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. And then here you can write one line. So for example, um, this program was created by King IV. And then the commenting will end as soon as soon as you end the line. So as soon as I end the line, I can for example put for example, print uh, hi king, and then I, if I go ahead and run that, you'll see it displays the the output here, hi king, uh, and it doesn't display the first first output. So pretty simple, nothing too complicated there. The second way of commenting uh, is to use these three three um, quotations, and this will allow you to comment. And it essentially, it won't end until it runs into these three comments again. So, for example, you can say na program name tutorial dot py uh, created by King Ivy created December twenty seventh, twenty fifteen um, version uh, zero point zero one purpose. Uh, da, da, da. You can type whatever you want. And if I run that, you'll see that it skips that line of code. If I didn't include this, then it would give me an error because it's trying to look for the triple quotes, double quotes here. So they, the, so that, that's good. Those two main ways of programming. Another advantage of programming in this method is, for example, here, if I were to set up a variable, let's call it user, similar to what we had before and I called it king, for example, I can actually add the hashtag here or ha the comment here and say, this is reserved, reserved for the username. And then there you go, it'll process appropriately. So nothing too complicated there, uh, but really useful. We're gonna start using some more commentary as we start programming and start going to the, some of the more advanced lessons. But if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And if you thought this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.